Hey folks, this is Mark with OrientWatchUSA.com with CFT00006W. Now this watch is part of the Orient's racing series. Let me go ahead and show you some of the uh, angles on my wrist. That way you have a nice idea of how this watch is going to look like on your own wrist. Now I do have a slightly smaller frame for a uh, for a guy, so just use that as a, uh, a, a reference. So if you are slightly larger, you can go ahead and imagine it to be a little small on your own wrist. Okay, let me go ahead and take off the watch so it's easier for me to explain all the little detail. You can notice from the beginning that there is an Orient stamp right on the clasp itself. Take off the safety, depress both buttons to unfold the clasp to release. To re-engage, refold, and use the safety to secure it. I want to show you this amazing band. Notice how it has both a combination of matte and finish links. And you'll notice that same matte and finish on the case itself. Okay, there's three things that you'll notice from this watch, uh, from, the, from the front. You'll notice that it is a semi-skeleton because it has all these exhibition holes on the dial itself. It has a power reserve indicator located at the six o'clock position. And there is a slide rule around the watch. Now, let me go through each one one by one. So, um, it is a semi-skeleton watch, which means that a certain portion of the movement will be, uh, will be, uh, how do you say, it? will be shown through the dial, through a series of cuts or, um, or uh, certain exhibitions. A full skeleton would be just if this whole movement was, uh, was, ex ex uh, was exposed, but or inside just to do certain points. Okay, now this is a power reserve indicator over here. Uh, for those who are not familiar with a mechanical watch, do me a favor, take, uh, take some time after this video. If you look at the right of this video, you'll see a, uh, a little, uh, you'll go ahead and see a little box that says, what is a mechanical watch? Go ahead and click into it, and uh, what it is, it's a flash visual explanation of a mechanical watch. I think it works really well, and it helps you understand it very, very quickly. Okay, and so the last thing is, is that it has a slide rule. Now, a slide rule has four functionalities. It does addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, you're probably wondering, how on earth do you do that? I'm going to try to basically explain it in a little bit, but the full explanation of how to use all the little things is will be uh, through a manual that will be delivered with your watch. Okay, just so, uh, just so that we're completely clear, let me show you what a mechanical watch is. Oh, let me show you from this side because I can show you the balance wheel. You'll notice that it has a rotor. That rotor spins because you're moving just through natural movement. That powers the mainspring inside the watch, and that mainspring powers the timing machine inside the, inside the movements. Okay. Now, to use a slide rule, you have to unscrew first this little knob over here. Once you've done that, you can see that, it, uh, at, that I can uh, direct it in both ways, like this. Once I'm done with uh, my calculations, I can go ahead and press it in and close it up. So it's nice and secure. Similarly, for time, I have to unscrew the, uh, the crown. Once it gives, it only has one step because it's a uh, semi-skeleton. Then you can adjust the time. Very simple. Once you're done with it, always remember to push it in and screw it in until it's all the way in. Now don't have to screw in, you don't have to give any sort of elbow grease into this. It just stops when it's there. Okay folks, um, so this is CFT 00006W. Hope to see you wearing it soon.